Hey, what's going on guys? Krosama here. And today I'm going to be telling y'all what the next month's theme is. And if you haven't noticed already, it's going to be on Metabots. So this theme is going to be the month of June. And honestly, I am super stoked because we're going to have two re-release Metabots kits, Scissorheads as well as Metabee, coming out in that month. No exact date yet, but it is going to be within that month. Now, the reason I chose June is because of those re-releases. I really want to get my hands on that Meta B and paint it up really nice and well. And I do have a soft spot for the franchise of Metabots. Unfortunately, it's kind of been a downhill slope from here with just lack of releases, no new anime, very little merch, uh, except for Kotobukiya releasing a kit every once in a while. But for the most part, the franchise is dying. Now we did get a new app game, Metabots S. Unfortunately, it's a Japanese only release and unless you're getting a third party app to download the game, you're pretty much missing out on it. Now I did download a third party app and started playing it and it's honestly not a bad game. It's just because it's in Japanese, I can't really feel that invested just because if they release an American release, then I probably won't be able to transfer all my stuff over. And although I didn't put money into the game, I did get pretty far. So. I don't know, maybe it's just a lack of interest because I'm not understanding the storyline. But I really do like the game and I think it's pretty cool. And aside from the re-releases of the Kotobuki Kiss is going to be coming out in June, July, August, and September, um, really we just have some Gashapon P Bandai kits that actually were supposed to come out in April and they've been pushed back to we don't know when. So it kind of really sucks. I really wish they would get more and more merchandise, even if it is the Gachapon stuff. Uh, we did get the perfect collection little figures, but that's, that's not enough in my opinion. So maybe some people are saying, why Metabots? They kind of understand the purpose of LBX because LBX had a mass re-release of kits and they were readily accessible in both the United States, you know, multiple different Asian countries, and Japan. And we had 30 Minute Missions, which was a new line from Bandai, and that's been really well received by the masses. And Zoids, with the large amount of Kotobukiya kits they have, as well as the Tokurotomi kits that they have on that side. So you really get to choose which one you want it for that month. And coming up to this month with both Mega Man and the Vintage Month, vintage kits are pretty easy to come by. They're not really that expensive, they're relatively cheap, kind of makes you brush up on your painting and other techniques. But in Mega Man, it's a little bit hard to get, although they have been releasing a lot of the newer kits, so you do have the Mega Man X, the armor, uh, Zero was coming out in July, so I think that was a bust, or it might have been coming out in June. But you did have the older Mega Man kits, and if you can get your hands on them, most of them are pretty relatively cheap. So with Metabots, I know there's not much Plamo, there's not much merchandise in general, so what can you do? Well, one of the things you can do is actually purchase any of the Kotobukiya model kits, or even the Takarotomi model kits, but those are going to be a lot harder to find. It's also some older model kits that you can get, but even those are really weak and, you know, their prices are crazy right now. Then there's also the figures. If you have any of those little tiny, I think they're like 2 inch, 3 inch figures, you can use those, post them, and, you know, use that hashtag, Metabots for Life, so that way, you know, we can definitely share all of our things and just have that celebration of Metabots. Then you can also share your stories, you know, say a couple of things about the anime that you've watched. If you want to post some you know, screenshots, if you want to post memes, definitely do that. And you can use that hashtag, uh, some fan art. You could do that as well or anything in the middle. If you have a game that's Metabots, when there's a lot of Metabots games, you want to post some footage, screenshots of that and share it. Definitely do so as well. So I would say the main point I'm trying to make when it comes to Metabots is not necessarily the Plamo in general, although I think the kits are pretty cool looking. Some people probably are not really for it. They don't think it's that great. Understandable. But I have a soft spot when it comes to very quirky, niche kind of Plamo. So I'm really looking forward to these. But I would say the main reason I'm doing this is because if I could have a dedicated month where a good amount of people, at least you know a decent amount, is being vocal about Metabots and trying to push Maybe even, I'm not saying Twitter, but somewhere, you know, somehow push this as a trending topic that Metabots is alive and well within the community. I think we could possibly see some of the top devs maybe say, hey, there's people that are enjoying this franchise. Maybe let's go ahead and do a little bit more. And I'm in a bunch of different groups, the Facebook, the subreddit, as well as the Discord. And honestly, it's a little bit of a small community in comparison to things like Gumpla, things like... Uh, Mega Man, even LBX, it's not as big as all those. 
I do wish that we had a bigger group and maybe even more people that just you know enjoy these kind of franchises. So if you are a newcomer, maybe just stop by, see what it's all about, interact with people that's been in the franchise since the beginning and has not left. Me, I kind of stepped aside because obviously I grew up and I just really wasn't about it anymore. But then coming back into these kind of like you know different franchises with Gundam, I you know had a resurgence of my passion when it came to Metabots. Hopefully, if we can just be loud enough, maybe someone up there can actually listen to us and maybe they can actually help us out by giving us a new game, a new anime, some new merch, or just say, hey, we're still here and we still want to do great things for you. Um, I don't know how well that will do, but hey, it's always worth a try. But if you can, please share anything you can using that hashtag Metabots for Life and let's get our voices heard. So stay tuned for the month of June where I'm going to be doing a bunch of kits. I'm going to paint them up and I'm going to make them look all nice for you guys. I haven't really seen too many painted Metabots kits, so hopefully I can go ahead and get a lot of people just riled up and, and energized so that way they can paint their own as well. But that's it for me. Uh, stay tuned for the next announcement on June 1st, which will be the theme for July 1st. I know it takes a long time for people to get their mail, so hopefully when I announce the next theme in June... Uh, you can get your stuff in an orderly fashion. That's it for me. I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye-bye.